Hello, welcome to another video. In the previous video, we learned about the grid system of CSS3 in Delvin CSS. And we mentioned about the flex S, but in this video, we will learn about flex. So, these both are like twins for me, and either you use and have its own advantages. So, when you use grid that is multi dimensional, you can use it horizontally and vertically. But when you use the flex, it is one dimensional. Either you use it as a row or use it as a column. So if you want structures or sections like the one that we built previously, so definitely you have to choose the grid over the flex. And if you want some simple type of a structure, for example, two or three columns aligned with each other, so on that time you can use the. Uh, let's uh, start with the flex, but before that, let's give some title for the for our two sections and, and then uh, we'll compare that what can what we can do with the grid and with the flex font bold text to excel and margin of five and text center so let's say okay that's fine another one same thing almost for our flex flex okay so now we are ready as in grid we had uh, we, should, we should create a container or a parent div inside that we will create two or three elements suppose we will create three elements so three elements with some content inside it uh, like glory okay so uh, I'll just give it a background color. Copy it multiple times. Purple. Let's save and see here. We got the three divs here, three flex items, but yet they are not flex items because we have not mentioned the flex for the parent div. So let's add it class and flex let's refresh it yeah we got our flex box here this is very easy for such structures to if you want some gap between the elements we can use the gap as we had in the uh, grid system so we got gap of five between our elements now as we said flex is one dimensional default is row but we can change it to column so if we change it to column the whole div our parent div will be considered as one column and the elements will be rows and if uh, if we put it as it is this default the parent div will be considered as a row and the elements will be considered as column so let's just change the parent div to column and the elements will be row so we can just say flex column flex call let's save it and refresh okay now the whole div uh, let me give it a background color yeah we can see the whole um, parent div is considered as a uh, one column and this three divs that is inside the whole div are uh, like considered as row we can just change it again to flex row so the whole div will be as a row and the elements or items will be considered as a column and that's it for that uh, uh, we can just reverse the order the purple is at then we can bring it to uh, front like we can say uh, flex row because that is the default reverse so now we can see that the purple was here but we got it here that is uh, uh, reversing the order or we can customize the order and uh, give uh, each of them like a custom order for example let's remove this one and give the blue of order uh, three means uh, the blue one should be here at the end and the the red one should be the first starting so it is order one and the purple one should be in the between so it must be order two let's save it and refresh it 
now you can see as we give the door here inside our code the rate is in between but here uh, according to order one it is uh, just showing the front or the first jet and the second the second is purple and the third one is the blue so let me remove these orders and check some more uh, details about this one now coming to the uh, section like if you want the first uh, flex item to be expanded as two columns what we can do is by giving the width of uh, like 50 percent so that will be as two columns almost or just consider that we want the screen to be divided into four pieces and the first two piece is for this first item and the second two piece for these two items so that way we can convert it to like we want so the for the blue one we can just say it's with two or four for example if our screen is divided into four uh, sections then the other will be one or four almost 25 percent and the third will be as well about one of four width one of four so that will be very easy yeah right. but again it is not as uh, flexible but in grid layout you have you can item can grow in uh, row uh, vertically as a row or can grow horizontally as column but in flex you don't have that ability you can make that by uh, using the nested flex but again that is not as special so that was it for this video thank you very much